In this video, we're going to look at how you grade, how you mark an assignment. Let's say a student has submitted an essay or something like that that you want to make comments on or that you want to mark. Uh, here's how you would do that. We're in our uh, middle school test class and I've set up an assignment and I see over here when I go to that class, I have one ungraded assignment submission. I click on that and it's an assignment in the essay on the Exodus. I click on that and here is the submission that I have. Okay, so it says it needs grading, it was on time, tells me submitted it before the due date. So I click on it and it pulls it up here. Now, hey, this paper I submitted has nothing whatever to do with this assignment. I've just submitted this just so you would to show you an example. But it will come up and look like this. Now, you can click here to download the file, like if you want to look at it more, you want to print it out or something like that, but if you want to just read it on the computer and make comments, you can do that right here. You don't have to download anything. So you see here, you can scroll through and you can read the paper here online. Okay, now let's say that you want to highlight something. You can go down here to highlight decide which color you want to highlight it with. We're going to highlight it with yellow. And then I just go up here and how just uh, select whatever I want to highlight. Okay, so that's how you highlight things. I want to make a comment. Okay, so you click comment down there. Uh, go up here and click where you want to insert the comment. So let's say I want to insert a comment right here after Spirit Day Dress. I click there and then I can just start typing. And I can say something like this. Okay, so there's my comment. Okay, I'm through with that. So just click the line here. Notice there's a little in indication there. Uh, if you hover over it, it shows what the comment was. If you click on it, it opens up the full box. Okay, so we get rid of that. Uh, I can draw if you want to. Uh, this might be a little bit awkward if you're doing it on a uh, computer rather than on a tablet just because drawing is hard, but you could do that if you want. Like if I want to uh, circle here, I can do that. It's going to look a little bit crude, but you can do that. You can draw. Uh, commenting might be better if you're actually going to type things. Okay, so let's say I've done that. I could also add a comment over here on the whole paper as a whole. I could say something like this is very confusing. Okay, and then uh, I want to save my changes. Be sure you save the changes over here when you've made annotations. Save the changes and then post and then that student will see your comment here. You will also see the annotations that you've made here. You can also Go up here, and here's where you grade it. So if we say, okay, this is an 85, um, I can do that. I can make a comment here about the grade itself. I could say, you didn't follow instructions. And if you click there to show to the student, he'll see your comment. If you leave that unchecked, this might be something like, you might say a comment to yourself. I need to check with student to hit him soundly. Okay. You do that. That comment you'll see it, but the student won't. Okay. So you click submit. Um, like I said, be sure you've clicked save changes, and uh, then you can just X out of this. And the student then, let's say that the student here gets this, okay. Now, he sees, when the student looks at it, he sees, here's his grade. He got an 85, uh, but 
here he can click on his assignment. He pulls it up. Here are the comments, the strike, the uh, highlighting you did, the drawing. He can read the comment down here about Spirit Day dress. Uh, you read your comment over here. Okay. Uh, so that uh, you know, he sees all those things. Uh, so that's how you annotate and mark up submitted papers if you want to.